What's up guys, welcome back to A Couple Nurses. This is Cordero. In today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys all of the books that I used in my second semester of CRNA school. Before we get into the content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment any ICU related questions or any CRNA, SRNA related questions down in the comment box. I read them all. And also check out the free resources that we have down in the description box. And uh, hopefully it can help you on your CRNA journey or on your ICU nurse journey. All right, so I'm going to show you guys my books that I use from, ordered from what I use the most to what I use the least. So the very, very first book we have here, Stolting's Anesthesia and Coexisting Diseases. So pretty much what this book does is breaks down the pathophysiology of all of these disease, process, disease processes and it shows you how it's related to anesthesia. You know, how is airway affected? How is circulation affected? So I think I'm gonna be using this book a lot in the future as well, but I definitely use this book more than anything. All right, so the second book is this pharmacology book. Very simple read. Uh, it's, it wasn't very hard to, to understand. You know, when you hear advanced pharmacology, you, it's kind of a daunting type of title, but uh, this book breaks it down really good. So this is Brenner and Stevens. The third book that we use, are these two simultaneously. So this is for our research class. Uh, we use um, Pollock and Beck. This is like their seventh edition. Uh, I was talking to my mom. They had like the third edition when she was in school. And then this Fowler's, this nursing research, Pollock and Beck. This is like directed towards nursing research specifically. And then this practical statistics for nursing. Um, this is more a mechanical type of learning. It's not, it's very dry, very cut and dry. So then the last two books that we used probably equally this past semester was this medical physiology. So our professor actually did really good at condensing down the notes that we needed to know out of this book. So I relied more on the PowerPoints in that class particularly. And we also have this, which I'd use the least was this advanced policy book. A lot of, lot of good information in here about policy and finance and nursing, but uh, whenever I have to compare this to learning about physiology and pharmacology, you know, those are a little more heavy type of topics that we need to really be proficient at. So I spent more time in those books. But that's it, guys. Quick video. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.